Oh, what's good guys? So it's been 16 days since I showed you guys Elven Punks and since I started collecting unofficial punks. So kind of want to show you the collection I've gathered and uh, kind of go through them little by little. Alright, so these are some of the earliest Elven Punks I picked up. Uh, I think this was probably across like two or three days. The first wave of stuff I got was definitely... Um, these first six and then I want to say that I got these a little bit later on if I were to click on them all individually it would have like dates and timestamps and stuff but I think for the purpose of this video uh, I won't be clicking on them individually just because uh, it'll take time to load between each but just kind of give you a glimpse or a glimpse of uh, the collection uh, so here's a Elvin Punks X collab punks uh, all of the collab punks have this like black, purple, pink, and sometimes a little bit of blue uh, colorway. Um, there was actually one that released on collab punks um, open seas as well, but I got the one off of uh, Elven Punks instead. Uh, game punks, I I want to say I grabbed a couple of these for sure. This one and possibly another one. Um, Punkymon. Very cool. Got the Blastoise and the Venusaur. And then I think the following, following day I got the Butterfree. Uh, Beheaded Punks. Uh, I got these two first and another one uh, like the following day or, or soon thereafter. Uh, the next one I actually got when it released. I want to say these I think I got for resale. Um, here's another Elven Punk. Of course, how could I forget also my sneaker punks? There's a few still available. And um, I actually did a giveaway today on Twitter and someone got one for free, which is pretty cool. Alright. Some of my favorite Elven punks right here. This one, as well as uh, this animated one. Super dope. Here's one of the beheaded punks I got for retail. I got it when it released. Um... Uh, copped it instantly and yeah definitely happy with that one uh, inverse punks as well as one of the more uh, like, not recent but like one of the the later uh, sneaker punks drops that I did yeah inverse punks very cool and then actually this guy uh, he like knew of like my videos and stuff my sneaker videos and uh, he ended up sending me one as well which we'll see here in a second this is the first Bitbird I got. Dropped a lot on this guy. Uh, he's a black, bink, uh, black beak, and there's only like nine with the black beaks. So yeah, um, one of my more expensive NFTs right here. Uh, this is an updated model I did with uh, did for sneaker punks. I really like the way this one turned out. Another cool animated uh, Elven Punk with a couple more uh, Elven Punks right here. The Inverse Punk right here was actually gifted to me by the owner. Super appreciate it and super dope uh, color combo on this one. Pocket Face, the first drop I did. Uh, it's got the little light on the side flashing with the different little faces and then kind of like the glitch loading bars right there. Happy with the way this one turned out. Super dope Elven Punk right here with the invisibility cloak. Super cool. A faceless punk. The second bit bird I got. I think my only two punkies. This was, I want to say, my first eight. And uh, Banksy Punk right here. Really like this one. The cigarette and the little rainbow vibes. With the purple hat. Vox Punk, got two of the uh, these right here. Another Inverse Punk, purple and green are just like my absolute favorite, so had to go with this one. Got the laser eyes on this Elven Punk. I, I feel like I got this one released. I think I'd wo uh, woken up and had just released and I copped. Elven Punk, my second Banksy Punk right here. This is my first uh, Metal Punks. I got it when it released and... I was trying for a couple releases before it and they kept on selling out instantly and even though I clicked, you know, I, I paid the gas fees to attempt to purchase but 
missed out on them and I got lucky on this one. Embroidered Punks. This is honestly one of my favorite NFT, like, um, I guess, series that I found. Super dope. I, I think it looks so good and the quality looks so good on them. These I will open up. So this one is my icon right now on um, IG. Uh, this was my first Alien paid resale, but honestly, at 10% of an ETH, I didn't think it was that bad. This is why I was not opening them, by, by the way. So let me just go back. <laughs> but yeah. Um, <laughs> should have stuck to the plan of not opening, huh? Alright. Anyways, the detail on these is super dope. Uh, I got two zombies at retail. And I got the alien at resale. The purple hat. Second Metal Punk. Got this one released as well. I think this is the... The v most recent slash very last so far sneaker punks that has dropped. My first Picasso punk. Super happy with this one. Um, I did just go ahead and instantly throw it back up for pretty much double what I got it for. 1.8 ETH. But um, yeah, I don't really expect it to sell. Or to sell, but hey, if someone's trying to buy it, it's there. Uh, another embroidered punk. Nice little ape with the three glasses. Seems like a pretty popular one too. It's got four likes on it. Another nice embroidered punk. I actually don't didn't have any with this like style, um, this like female character. So I really wanted to add one to the collection. Uh, my most recent metal punks pickup. This is actually a little preview. Dropping this tomorrow. Part of a new uh, series I'm doing with the homie Coco, Paras or puppy parasites. And this is Fred. Uh, so Coco designed the character. And I added the animation of it. Like opening and closing its mouth. Its tongue retracting and its little tail wag. And other than Embroidered Punks. Probably like my second most favorite like new project that I found is Safe Punks. And probably one of the most proud that I have in the collection is this guy right here. He was available for zero ETH. Just pay the gas fee. So I was happy I found the project early enough to, to grab this for free and add it to the collection. Well, I say free, but you have to pay the gas fee, which I think was like 40 bucks or something. But usually that same fee would be on top of whatever the price is. So, And then I grabbed a bunch of uh, punks. And then this morning, uh, the owner had asked me if there's any like style of punk that I, I still wanted that I didn't have. And it was this one, so... Within a couple of minutes, this guy was made up and then uh, listed, and I was happy to add him to the collection. Another guy that I have listed right here um, is this alien. I have him available for 0.82 ETH. So if anyone's interested, he is available on my open seas as well. And yeah, guys, that's the collection. 16 days of acquiring just stuff I've liked, honestly. Um, that's pretty much been the thought process when acquiring any of these characters, um, whether it's just the colors used or the design or whatever that stood out to me. Pretty happy with the collection. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I know this whole NFT thing is still very new to a lot of people. And yeah, I've just been having a lot of fun with it. And yeah. Hopefully you guys have a good one. Till next time, peace. Thanks for watching.